Uh, bisphosphonates have also been approved now to lower the risk of bone complications, what we call skeletal related events, pain, fracture, the need for radiation therapy, hypercalcemia, spinal cord compression, all of those are reduced with bisphosphonates such as pimidronate and solendronate and these are now commonly used. There was recently a study looking at a new uh, anti-resorptive agent called denosumab which works by inhibiting the rank ligand uh, which uh, is a uh, ligand that binds a receptor that uh, seems to mediate bone resorption. So uh, this inhibitor, denosumab, was tested against oledronic acid and did show about an 18% reduction in skeletal related events. And on that basis, it has recently been approved by the FDA. Um, it still has some of the same side effects as oledronate does. There was a, about 1.5% uh, risk of osteonecrosis of the jaw, mm -hmm. uh, which is something we see with as oledronate, uh, although fewer infusion reactions. So, uh, at the, uh, and it's a sub-Q injection rather than intravenous. So uh, I think that it's a, uh, it has some slight advantages in that regard. Uh, ASCO just recently updated their guidelines for patients with metastatic bone uh, involvement, and they basically are recommending any of the three drugs, pamidronate, zoledronate, or denosumab, without really preferring one over the other. And they state that patients should have their kidney function monitored and that they should also all be on calcium and vitamin D. So those are the latest recommendations that haven't been published yet, but will soon be coming out from ASCO.